Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm here with a quick video, uh, continuing Apple Week it seems. <laughs> I'm going to give you guys a quick video on uh, iTunes 9.1. Um, it's just come out, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what it's about, as well as I'm going to show you guys a fix for uh, Black Rain. If you're going to use Black Rain with iTunes 9.1, there's a, you need to fix it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go through all this stuff for you guys, and I keep you up to date. Anyway, let's get this one started. Okay guys, so before I begin, iTunes 9.1 is not really necessary. Um, it doesn't really bring in any major features unless you're buying an iPad. And if you do have an iPad, it does give you some helpful features. But if you don't have an iPad, pretty much the only thing it does is it gives you just a little bit better genius support. Not really all that necessary. But if you do want to update, it's not a big deal. Just open up your iTunes. Um, it'll probably go ahead and ask you to do it automatically. But if it doesn't, like it doesn't for me, just go ahead and open up Help. Come down here and hit click check for updates. And then give it just a second. And then the last 9.1 is available. Um, and of course, like I said, guys, this is not necessary whatsoever. Um, it's, if you don't have an iPad, you know I might want to skip it. But if you do have if you do plan on getting an iPad this Saturday or you just want to stay on the latest version of iTunes, it's not a big deal. So go ahead and click download. Like I'll do it right now. And uh, yeah, guys, we'll go ahead and cut this and uh, come back as soon as it's done downloading. Okay, guys, so it just finished up. It took a few minutes, and uh, it's actually it's a hundred and over a hundred megabytes. But uh, yeah, it's all installed. So now, no big deal. Um, it doesn't say that you need to do this, but go ahead. Trust me on this, guys. Go ahead and uh, restart your computer. Okay, so restart your computer, and I'll be right back as soon as I do that. Okay, guys, so everything is done. I've just restarted, and I'm on iTunes 9.1. As well, you can see here in a minute, but <laughs> it looks exactly the same, basically, guys. Um, the only thing I the only thing I can notice real quick is if you look over here um, in the apps catalog or the apps little thing it now says apps not applications that's the only thing I can notice off the bat I'm sure as soon as you plug your iPad in you know you'll be able to see your iBooks and all that kind of stuff um, but for a normal user like me this is just what you're gonna see okay um, so obviously this is about it there's not a whole lot of great stuff um, but if you want, if you're if you're jailbroken, um, there's one thing you'll probably want to do, and it is go ahead and get it to work with Black Rain. Um, currently, Black Rain does not work with iTunes 9.1, but there's a fix um, thanks to the great guys at I Hate Snow, which I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. They're really fast turnaround. They went ahead and already fixed iTunes, so they will work with Black Rain. Um, now, if you jailbreak, this is a great thing to do because not only will it allow you to now jailbreak with Black Rain, it will also now allow you to go ahead and if you have a tethered jailbreak, um, iTunes basically has killed off Black Rain. So just install this little patch, which I'm about to show you, and uh, Black Rain will work perfect, and uh, it's a good deal. So let's go ahead and uh, skip to showing you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, guys, so um, I'll go ahead and uh, get shoot the link in the description. Um, but basically, just come to this link. It is uh, from Hi I Hate Snow, and then it will just ask you if you want to download Black Breeze, which is the name of the program. So go ahead and hit save, and uh, we've already got it up. So all you got to do is just go ahead and click on it. There you go. Click on it now. And let's go ahead and basically it's very simple all it says is basically you just have to click fix my rain and it'll basically solve the issues with uh, iTunes so we go ahead and click it and then all we gotta do is find our uh, black rain uh, where the black rain folder is so let's go ahead and find it here um, where do I put it there we go so just put find wherever you have your black rain uh, program hit open and then now, where do you want it to save? Which is going to be the fixed uh, I've, uh, black rain. Sorry. So again, I'm just going to save it in this folder. Of course, you can save it wherever you like. Let's go ahead and hit save. And now it's been fixed. So now all it says is basically make sure to pick the black rain that you just fixed, and which is an important deal because of course you don't want to use the old one. So you might not want to delete the old one, um, but go ahead and just you know get it out of the way. And uh, yeah. So as soon as you do that, you're all done. So you can go ahead and exit out of this. And uh, basically, you're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up iTunes really quickly here and show you guys. Um, now, is obviously nothing's gonna work. It really didn't change anything about iTunes itself. All it changed was the fact that now Black Rain works. So, guys, if you were having problems with that, um, that's what you should do. Um, and lastly, um, although uh, I've tested it some and it seems to be working okay, some people have had syncing issues with 9.1, especially with if you're jailbroken. Um, now. 
as far as I know, I had actually I had the same issue. Um, as far as I know, all you got to do is just go ahead and restart your computer after you install iTunes, which is what I showed you guys earlier. Go ahead, do that, and it should fix everything. If you're still having problems, no matter what it is, um, whether it's, if it's black rain, obviously do what I just showed you. And if but uh, if restarting it hasn't helped and you're having any kind of problems, of course you can always go downgrade back to 9.0 or whichever version you were on. Um, I'm not go going to show this. Maybe if a lot of you guys need to. But really simply, basically, guys, all you got to do is go ahead and uninstall iTunes 9.1. Just go ahead and have it totally wiped. And then all you got to do is I'll have a link in the description where you can download uh, earlier versions of iTunes. So go ahead and just find your original version and do that. It's really simple, guys. I might make a tutorial, but I don't really think I need to. You guys should be able to figure it out. So hopefully, if one of the if uh, fixing Black Rain doesn't work or uh, if uh, your iTunes is still giving you some problems even after you uh, update it and uh, restart your computer, you might want to try that out. Anyway, guys, that's about it for iTunes 9.1. Um, of course, well, as soon as the iPad comes out, we'll see a lot of the new features, but that's about it for now. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions about it, leave it in the comments. Um, so, yeah, guys, this question to my, today is going to be, what do you guys think about uh, the next version of iTunes 9.1? Um, have you updated? Do you have any problems? Anything like that? Go ahead and just leave me in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching.